Phillips. Welcome back, everyone. Well, a tremendous amount of rain over the last couple of days, and I think that we're going to be pulling through the other side of this coming up here shortly. Now, unfortunately, we got a little ways to go. Another round of wet weather thunderstorms all going to be on the way for tomorrow. Let's start with a look at the satellite and radar picture. It's actually quiet here so far this evening. Things actually looking pretty good, and I do think we get a little bit of a break here. Now, if you look out over towards Texas, you got a lot in the way of showers that are working their way up through central parts of Texas right now, and I think that that's largely where it's going to to stay tonight. We may get a few isolated showers kind of drift on through by early tomorrow morning, but for the most part, things are going to be staying quiet tonight. But tomorrow that changes. Once again, we're talking about the possibility of some severe weather out there. We've got that marginal risk. We're down on the lower end of the risk, but we've seen what the low end risk can do. So what it means basically, we're all going to be seeing thunderstorms tomorrow. A couple of us are going to be seeing some of those severe thunderstorms, particularly for this area up in central parts of Louisiana. And I think getting up to areas northwards of the 190 corridor and then maybe down to about I-10. Like we've seen so far this week, everything that's materialized has produced either heavy winds, some hail. We haven't had the tornado threat, and I don't think that we're going to have that again tomorrow. And the reason why we're seeing these showers is because the pattern that has been stuck for so long is finally going to break. We've had what's called an omega block, and that's when you get this high pressure right here at the center of the country. You got two lows on either side. We've had this all week long. That's why we've continuously seen those showers. Now this low is eventually going to work through the high ridge tomorrow. And as it does so, it's going to drag some more showers, the last round of showers into our area. But take comfort in the fact that as those showers make their way through, that's the pattern finally breaking down and we'll be able to get a little bit of a break and we'll get some drier days come the weekend. So by tomorrow morning, maybe a few isolated showers will not be as busy as it was this morning. You got a lot of clouds out there. Good breeze coming in from the southeast throughout the day. And then as we get into the afternoon, you start to see those showers really working their way through the area. So this takes us late afternoon, early evening. I think that the strongest storms probably going to be north of the I-10 corridor. I think somewhere between about I-10 and central Louisiana is where you may have some of those issues. That continues on through the evening and then eventually settling down a little bit overnight. And we may get a few showers that continue on into Saturday, but for a the majority of us, everything kind of comes to an end on Saturday. We may not see a whole lot of sunshine, but at least the wet weather will come to an end. Now we still have that flash flood watch in effect because we're expecting another couple inches worth of rainfall. Again, there's going to be a swath of some very heavy rain. Again, I think it's right around that 190 corridor, maybe getting up into central Louisiana, but this band here can drift north or south. So we, we all kind of need to be prepared for a couple inches worth, and then we'll see tomorrow where those storms are starting to set up. And if you do start to see those storms setting up, that's where you can start to run into the potential for maybe a little bit of localized flash flooding. Those low lying roadways take a lot of water fairly quickly and that's going to be the big issue tomorrow. That and maybe a little bit of hail and some strong winds. 63 for the overnight low tonight. We do get a break from the rain here. We allow everything to kind of drain and, and continue to soak into the ground, which is good. You want as much you know draining time as you can get. Temperature wise, we're anywhere from the upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow. Decent breeze out there. We are going to stay mostly cloudy and as we roll through the next couple of days, we'll finally start to see everything breaking down by the time we get to the week. And again, showers may be for Saturday morning, but by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, we're going to be improving some sunshine by Sunday and sunnier skies going through a majority of next week. Again, lows tonight get down to around 63. We'll see those highs tomorrow in the upper 60s to low 70s. Marcel. All righty. Thank you, Dan.